if I'm the center of your conversation and it's making you and your friends be more closer together, you need to be sending me a thank you note. All right, so boom. Hey, you guys, what's poppin'? Justin here. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm doing a story time. I know we about to have mad fun having someone in mad long. But before we jump into the story time, today's video is sponsored by Scentbird. If you guys haven't watched my last videos, I don't know where y'all been, but you guys know I love Scentbird. Scentbird is a subscription service for fragrances, over 600 fragrances. They have designers from Tom Ford to Gucci to Versace, Bentley, a bunch of fragrances that you could think of. They have them on their site. So every month for $15, you pick whatever you want to receive and they have a flexible plan so you could skip at any month. What I love about Sunbird is something that I also did this month is you could discover new fragrances on the quizzes that they have based on like previous purchases, preferences, everything they have on a quiz just so you could find a new fragrance because I love, I love my staple fragrances but I also love finding new fragrances and putting people on. So I'm about to put y'all on right now. This month, I got a Bentley fragrance. This one smells really, really good. This one is a, another Bentley fragrance, but this one is more intense. So this one is like, I literally just need like maybe two spritz of this versus this one, I could put on a little more heavier and it won't be so intense, which I kind of like because I like lightweight fragrances. But this one smells really good too. It's just all about the occasion with these two. Like that's the only difference. And the next one I got is the Mercedes-Benz Man. And this one is also intense. And I just love their fragrances in general. But this one is new. So I just had to try it out. And with each fragrance, you get a 30-day supply. Meaning that you can try out before you commit to a new bottle. Which I love. You can also find your dream scent by searching by like mood, occasion, personality, things like that. And what's great about Sunbird is that you could keep giving your recommendations and keep rating the fragrances. So that way you'll be closer and closer to finding your dream scent match. And you guys know I would not leave y'all with no type of discount. So make sure you guys click the link in my bio to take the free fragrance quiz and 30% off. Okay, so y'all, so today's story is going to be one that you guys have been asking me for ever since I mentioned it. The time that I got fired from Zara. Yes, I got fired from Zara, but it wasn't my fault. And I'm a good worker. But I'm going to tell y'all how I got the job. So basically... Boom, 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 boom. I think this was, I, I had just left H&M, whatever, and I needed a job. So, boom, Zara was hiring. So, I go to the building or whatever, and it's mad. First of all, it's mad people coming out. It, was, it wasn't it was a group interview, but they had us go in groups. So, the first group, it was like maybe like a 12 o'clock group. My interview was maybe like at 2, like shit like that. Boom. Mad people coming out. I'm gagging. And then there's mad professional people around me too, like older people. Like, I'm gagging. So, I'm like, oh my God, I might not get this job. Whatever the case may be, boom. We go up in there. I go into the interview. It's me just by myself. I get put my resume. Me and her talking to some older lady. And we was just vibing. Like, it was really a vibe. Like, she was asking me, like, oh, like, I like your shirt. Like, where you got it from? I'm like, no, girl, you look so cute. Like, that, like it was very that. Like, it, honestly, it was unprofessional. But she, I'm just a vibe. Like, I know how to work retail. Like, retail is all about being charming and charismatic. And y'all know... I got that. I didn't think I was gonna get, the, I don't, I didn't know if I was gonna get the job, but once I started talking to her, I'm like, oh, I got this job already. So she gives me a piece of paper and she's like, here, go into the other room. I go into the room and only one other girl out of that whole group came with me. Like, it, I actually did an interview and it was just only us two. Like, I was actually gagging that they only hired us. But Zara, I guess you just have to be like, and another thing is Zara loves Spanish people. Like, the Dominicans, like, it's nothing but Dominicans that work in Zara. Like, so, you know, they see my Dominican ass woke up in there. They was like, oh, boom, right here. <laughs> but, um, I don't know what that's about, but okay. So, the store that I got hired for, it was, okay, so this is back in the day. I don't know if y'all remember. This is going to be for my New York heads, but, like, Soho Zara, the Zara that was in Soho used to be on like another in another building, like next to the Forever Twenty One. This was around the time that um they were changing to the Zara building that is in now, like on the side of the Adidas store and all that shit. I mean the Nike store and all that or whatever. If you're not from New York, you're not gonna understand. So I get the job and my first day is this little girl that's training me like but she was like she was so nice she was so nice but she was like socially awkward and you know how like people be like socially awkward and they be annoying but like me I never found it annoying because what I find annoying is grimy bitches who talk mad shit and be like 
yeah, like, da -da -da -da. And, like, you know, the ghetto cool bitches, like, I find that annoying. Not the nice little, like, because, you know, like, in, 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 in social society, whatever, if that's a thing, <laughs> in society, like, you know, the people who are awkward and just, like, are, uh, like, obnoxious and just, like, innocently obnoxious, like, they always get hate. Like, oh, my gosh, she's so annoying. But not me. I used to love those kids in school like that. Like, those used to be my friends. Like, the weird kids that used to listen to, like... The Veronicas with like big skull candy headphones and like a Batman snapback. Like those was my friends. That's how kind of she was. She was like really nice, but she was just socially awkward. She was a little annoying. I'm not gonna hold you. She was a little annoying and she just she couldn't read the room. But she was cool though. Anyway, that's not the point. So boom. So the girl that was actually supposed to be training me, and I'm not even gonna say her name because the way I'm about to drag. Yo, I want to say her name too, because I feel like the thing is really, it's still beef. Like, to this day, like, nah, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. But, nah, why should I tell y'all this story? So, anyway, boom. The girl that was supposed to train me, I'm going to call her, I don't know what I'm going to call her. I'm going to call her, um, Coco, for whatever reason, I don't know. So, Coco that was supposed to train me, she wasn't there. She wasn't a manager. She wasn't a, a supervisor. She was nothing. She was just an associate that... The uh, managers trusted to train new associates, whatever. Oh, so I didn't tell y'all, like, I said all that about the, the Zara's moving from in Soho to different buildings because they had us work at the Fifth Avenue Zara so we can train to work at the new Zara that was opening up in Soho, whatever, boom. So my trainer, Coco, that was supposed to be there, she wasn't there that day. And I think she wasn't going to be there, there, there for the week. So they gave me the little awkward girl, whatever, boom. So me and the awkward girl, we talking... And she's like, okay, so who's your trainer? And I'm like, oh, Coco. And she's like, girl, 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 girl. Like, she gave it like that. Like, a girl, oh, good luck. No, I think that's what she said. She was just like, good luck. And I'm like, what? What happened? Like, she's mean. She's like, no, I'm not going to say that. But girl, like, girl, like, good luck. She said that to me and this other girl that was getting trained or whatever. Because she was training both of us. So... Me and the girl that she said that to were laughing like, oh my God, we got, we probably got somebody mean, bitch, like da 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 so it was giving that. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, boom. I think I worked the next day. Everything was good. Because I'm a retail worker. Like, I know how to work retail. Like, you don't need to tell me anything. I could work any, like, POS system. Like, I'm really that girl. The girl Coco finally come. Some little Dominican bitch with a bob. Come. Mind you, she had to be, like, maybe my age or 19. No, she was younger than me. I think she was, like, 19 at the time. 19 or 18 or something like that. I don't remember. She was younger than me. So, whatever. But, you know, you got to do your due diligence when you're working at a retail store. They got to make sure you know what you're doing, whatever the case may be. So, they'll give you somebody who's more experienced in the company. That's fine. Whatever. Boom. So, she come in. <laughs> Yo. So... I didn't see her until it was ready for me to take my break. So I go to the manager because I have to give the walkie back. I go to the manager. I'm like, oh, um, I'm going on my break now. Or like, can I take my break? I said something like that. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me your walkie. I'm like, all right. So I go to give, my, give him my walkie. She's next to him with the breakdown. Like the breakdown is basically like it says when everybody's going on break, like the goal for the day, all that shit. So she's standing next to him. He has the breakdown. And I guess he was giving her her, her check-in or whatever. So, um, and he's like, oh, this is... Oh, I almost saw her name. He like, oh, this is um Coco or whatever. So, I'm like, hi. Like, I go and I reach out my hand. I'm like, hi. And she's like, hi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you heard about me. Like, giving me fever. So, I said, excuse me? Like, because I think she... You know what it is? Retail workers like that, they're used to, like, hazing people and, like... Throwing little shady comments in a way that people just are usually, like, let it go. Like, kind of how I've learned how to do now. So, when she said that, I guess she was expecting me to be like, ha, 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 ha. Like, but I was like, excuse me. Like, at first, because I really didn't hear her at first. Because I was like, am I bugging? So, I'm like, excuse me. And she's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you heard about me. And I'm like, I, it was like a pause for a minute because I'm gagging. Because I'm like... She's trying it with me right now? No. No. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. So I'm like, I'm like, what do you mean by that? And she's like, huh. no, literally, literally just like this. Huh. 
Um, I don't know. Just, I know you heard about me. Literally with the sass and everything, y'all, I'm not even dragging in. Nothing like, oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you heard about me. Like, no, she was like, she literally lifted her shoulder up like this. I remember it. Like, hmm, yeah. I said, I said, what do you mean? She's like, exactly what I said. Like, literally like that, y'all. I'm talking about with the head like this and everything. Like, exactly what I said. I'm like, I've never heard about you, so I don't know what you're talking about. She's like... Oh, all right, like, like, I don't know what she said. I think she said something like, oh, huh, all right. And she was laughing. And then the manager next to her was laughing too. Because I guess they cool. So I was like, well, I'm going on my break. I gave the walkie, I left. Boom, 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 boom. Whatever, I come back from break. She tried to talk to me like, oh, so, um, what, like, uh, the only reason why I said that is because I heard such and such, like the little awkward girl. And I'm pretty sure she used to bully that little awkward No, she did used to bully that awkward girl. I remember it was one time in the locker room that little the little awkward girl was crying. And I'm like, what happened? And she's just like, I'm just so over here. Like, these people are just so mean. And I knew she was talking about Coco. Like, I just did not like that. I hated that. Like, that's really little dick energy. Like, woman or male. I don't care what it is. Like, you still have little dick energy. Like, you have, like little dick energy like she like oh the only reason why i said that is because like you know um i heard such and such was talking about me and i said well she wasn't talking about me you to me because i think she was just trying to get me on her friendly vibe now because now you know my body you try to test my body now you know my body so now you like oh let me get a teammate but bitch I'm, my mother raised me right. I don't know how your mother raised you, but I'm not no mean person. So I was like, well, she didn't tell me nothing. Like, because she really didn't. She was just like, girl, like, watch it. Because, and, and rightfully so, because bitch, look how you acting. You proving her right. And I think I said that too. I think I was like, I forgot how exactly how that conversation went, but I think she told me like, yeah, the girl said da 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 da. And I was like, well, you proving her right because I was like, well, she didn't tell me that, but you proving her right because look at how you acting with me. And she's like, all right, well, let's start again. I'm Coco. And I said, no. I said, no, first introductions is already done. You already showed me who you were. Like, we already did that. So if you want to move forward, we could do that. But you already showed me, like, how you was. So there's nothing to talk about. Whatever, boom. After that, when I tell you this girl used to bother me. I'm talking about bother me. Like, she would not let it go. Like, it was like, I, I can't even think of the time she's bothered me. So, I'm not even going to, like, I'm not even going to, like, hold that claim. Because this was so long ago, too. But, like, she really did used to bother me. And I remember it was one time I just had enough. And I think I was folding the shirts. Mind you, a manager has never corrected me on how I folded my shirts. A manager has never said anything to me about how I work. This bitch used to just always have something to say. She always wanted to say something, always wanted to say something, always wanted to say something. And nobody liked her there. Like, and I think she knew that. Like, she was really like a manager's pet, but she also tried to be tough at the same time. Like, she wasn't those man. she wasn't a manager. She wasn't those associates that was like, innocent and like oh my god like a, a a manager's pet like oh my god like i'm just so innocent no she would do that and then try to be like that like try to be like acting tough with people like but bitch you have the same you literally have the same job title i have on top of that you're younger than me are you crazy are you crazy anyway so it was one time i just had enough like i don't i, I really wish i could remember the time she's bothered me but i really can't y'all but just just take my word and on top of that too like i used to see how she treated other people and i used to just wait for her to say something to me because she was just so mean like so nasty so rude like so nasty and so rude boom i'm in a fitting room i'm folding the shirts and in zara you have to pin the men's shirts because i used to work in the men's section oh yeah and that's another thing i remember side note real quick i remember one time because i had curly hair but like it was like short so it was like this and i would just have it like curly or whatever like whatever one time one of the managers came up to me and was like oh um if you could do us a favor and when you come into work can you wear your hair in braids i said what i said why He's like, oh, because, you know, we just, like, the men here don't really have hair, doesn't really have hair like that. And if they do, they wear braids. I'm like, but I can't braid. So you're telling me that if I have my hair out and I have a shift, I can't come in? He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that because, you know, that would have been an HR issue. But he was just, I guess he was trying to be, like, like low with it and try to tell me, like, hey, if you could wear your hair in braids, like, that would be really cool. But that's not cool, bitch. I am going to wear my hair out. So 
whatever. So it was one time that I had it. Like I just had it with this bitch. And everybody who worked at that Zara, who knows me, who remembers me, I don't know if y'all remember me or not, y'all could definitely vouch for me. Okay? Cause y'all know. Okay, so anyway. And this is a Zara on Fifth Avenue. She was some little Dominican bitch with a bob. Y'all listen, if y'all fuck with me in the comments or y'all know somebody who used to work at the Fifth Avenue Zara around like three years ago, four years what well, three years ago, yeah. Let me know, okay? Or oh, be in the comments. Tell them to watch this video because they know who I'm talking about. But anyway, so boom. Whatever. So it was one day I'm folding shirts. Managers never checked me on my shirts. I'm pinning because you have to pin the shirts in the men's section. Oh, yeah, she worked in the men's section too. Pin the shirts in the men's section. She comes to me like, oh, um, do me a favor. Like, you have to pin the shirts like this, like that, like this. I said, yo, stop talking to me. Like, I literally had to, like, just tell her, like, I broke my neck, like, so hard. I was like, yo, you need to stop talking to me. I do not like you. Stop talking to me. Oh, well, I'm just telling you. Da -da -da. I'm like, but you don't need to be telling me nothing. You don't need to tell me nothing. And you already know our vibes with each other. Stop talking to me. Why are you talking to me? Oh, well, ta -da 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 -da. I'm just saying, ba 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 Boom. So that day I had a late, a late break. So I took my break like literally an hour before we closed. So when I came back, the store was closed type shit. Whatever, boom. So um, I get on my break and I come back. Oh, was it that day or the next day? Yeah, I think it was the next day. The next day I had a late break. And I go, I'm in the stock room or whatever. Not the stock room, the um, break room. And... One of the guys, I forgot his name. He was so cool, though. He was another gay boy. And he was so cool. He was, I think he was a little older than me. And he came like, yo, why Coco upstairs? And she, she talking crazy to the girl. She like, when you go to the um Soho store, her cousin, a manager there, and she gonna tell him to do everything in his power to get you fired. Ba, 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 ba. And I believe it, because that's what she gave. That's what she, that's what she gave. I know she said that. I know she said that. And I'm gonna tell y'all how I know she said that. So, boom. So I'm like, what? And like, on at this point with her, I'm on go like right away. Like, bitch, I'm like, yo, I'm like, anything anybody told me, yo, I was on go with her because she was just, she just, she just needed to be put in her place. Like, so when he told me that, I said, all right, I got something for her. I'm upstairs, we closing. And with Zara, you gotta do perfect clothes. And the men's section is really small, so like, even if I'm on one wall and she's on the other wall, we could still hear each other. Even though you gotta do perfect clothes, it's not like a silent clothes, like you could talk. So we talking whatever, boom, 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 boom. And we talking across from each other while we closing and I'm talking to the boy. All I said was, yeah, cause you know what? I find so funny that people think I'm scared of their cousins. That's all I said. That's literally all I said. She gonna break her neck at the cash register like, yo, she said literally like this. Yo, my nigga, you need to grow up. I said, what? Mind you, I was I was all the way across from the store when I said that. She was at the cash register. I said, what? Literally, I screamed, what? I ran over there. When I tell you I ran over there, I said, what happened? I said, who need to grow up? I said, you don't want any to grow up because not for nothing. You telling people that, oh, you going to tell your cousin this, then the third. Like, nobody's scared of your cousin. Like, what happened? So she like... She like, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. I don't even know what she was saying, but we was just going back and forth. And I'm like, yeah, I'll go to the store right now and say what's up to you. Because I'm like, what happened? Like, don't play with me. Like, you can never play with me. Like, blah, 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 blah. Like, because at that point, every, I wish I could remember the little situations, but I should have did the story time so much sooner. But I can't really remember right now because it was so long ago. But she kept trying me, kept trying me. And everything was just like a little like, all right, girl. Uh, all right girl the only little situation i could remember was the first time i met her but it was like a, a bunch of situations like that and then like you know my mini like our like our confrontational thing was when i told her to stop talking to me because i don't like her and you know what's so crazy this girl named sammy i still have her on instagram too she warned me too she was like yo justin you need a she was like yo just let her live because the managers like her and you knew here she was like, you just gotta let her live, let her live, let her live. But I'm sorry, like, I'm just too morally, like, like, I just can't, like, and especially, like, I see how you're talking to other people, like, no, it's no, no, you're not gonna get over on me, like, and it was just not happening. So, she warned me, too, like, Justin, they like her, they like her here, like, you cannot do that, like, they like her. I'm like, all right, I'm like, girl, like, girl, whatever, girl, like, when I go to the store, store, girl, I'm out, like, it don't matter. 
whatever so back to the situation we going back and forth and we yelling at each other because i'm like at this point i've had it i'm over the mean stuff i'm over you talking about other people trying to make your little dominican homegirls who don't even speak english laugh because you talking about other people like you know what it is like they have to talk about you because when they talk about themselves nobody listens nor does nobody care so people like that you have to learn how to just like laugh if I'm the center of your conversation and it's making you and your friends be more closer together. You need to be sending me a thank you note, you little hoe. So, um, boom. She goes to the manager. She like, yo, get him because I'm about to go off. I'm like, what? Like, get who? Like, I'm like, you get me. Get your cousin to get me. You want to talk, right? Ba, 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 ba. Everybody was gagging. Like, the little Dominican girls that didn't speak English that I just mentioned, they were sitting there gagging like whatever i think i worked the next day i think i worked that whole week everything was good and the manager who was on duty he was speaking to me and i'm telling him like yo not for nothing but like yo you know she's like this but because y'all like her like because he was also, he was a supervisor he wasn't a manager he was a supervisor but they were like kind of cool they were just like shady friends together and it fucking sucks that sometimes you have to have shady managers who like certain associates and like to be shady together with other people but that was just that was just what it was and um like that next week i get like a little meeting and they bring me in and they're like okay so how you like it here and i'm like i love it and i'm really excited to go to the um new store that's opening and they're like yeah about that like um do you have any issues here and i'm like um issues like how and they're like with other associates and i'm like okay i already know what this is about you guys are talking about the thing that i have with coco and yes i actually do think that she's very she's a very mean person i'm pretty sure you guys heard this about her before i'm pretty sure this is not something new and you guys aren't surprised and they're like okay but what happened that night at closing like they knew what i was talking about but they're like okay but tell us what happened so i'm like you know, you know basically when i went on break she was telling other associates that when i go to the to the soho store she's gonna have her cousin who's a manager who i don't even know have if they're gonna have him fire me and he's gonna like you know basically be mean to me and out to get me and they're like okay but what happened like they keep asking like they keep like it's like i'm trying to tell them like okay what your associate is doing that you guys love so much that's been in the company for whatever long but they don't want to hear about that they want to hear about what ha they want to hear about what i did wrong basically so that way they could say like oh well you did wrong so you gotta go whatever i'm like yeah so you know when i came back from break me and her had a confrontation because i said something to another associate about her cousin firing me and she overheard me and she told me to grow up and one thing led to another and we were just screaming they're like okay but who was the one cursing i'm like excuse me i was not cursing you know what it is my voice project and i'm so like fast with it and i'm so witty like i shut you down so fast you might you you probably thought i was cursing at you that's how like shocked and gagging you be you like yo he just cursed me out when in all reality i didn't curse her out i've been working in retail long enough to know that cursing especially during uh altercation to grounds for termination off rip one i didn't need to curse at her and two i didn't curse at her because i was just i i know better like you know what i'm saying like i know not to curse at work and i and i remember arguing with her and in my head saying like do not curse just do not curse do not curse just make sure you don't cursing whatever so they're like who was cursing i'm like I, who was cursing because i wasn't cursing and he was like oh well it was two little white managers whatever actually they were actually tall they actually look kind of good too they're like oh well the other associates heard you cursing i said what other associates the ones at cash point you talking about them two dominican girls that literally don't speak english like i started getting like a little lot with them because i'm like are you guys talking about those two girls? I didn't even know their names. That's how long enough I wasn't even there. Like, I think I was there a month. And, or two. And I was like, you're talking about the two Hispanic girls at Cash Point that don't even, like, speak English like that? And they're like, he's like, they speak English. They speak English. For them to say that they overheard me cursing and those are her friends... I don't understand how that's like a reliable source and they're like well other associates heard you cursing and they heard you screaming and blah 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 and we just don't think like you're gonna be a good fit for the store i said wait so i'm getting fired and they're like yeah we're just gonna have to let you go like you know because we just don't think that 
you'll be a good fit for the new store and we need like team players I said, oh, okay, that's fine, I'll leave. But if you need team players, then you need to start looking at the people that you're hiring and have staying at the store and have training at the store. And I just grabbed my stuff and I left. And it was so fucking, like, ostracizing because he fucking followed me into the locker room. Everybody was looking at me. I'm putting my stuff in my bag. Like, I'm cleaning out my locker. It was very that He walked me out. And I remember I was so mad. And this is what I think I called Aaliyah right after. I'm like, yo, I'm really about to do this YouTube shit. That was my last job before I started YouTube. Oh, I think I had my channel, but it wasn't making me money yet. And I was like, yo, I said, I'm really about to do this YouTube shit. Because I can't do this retail shit. Da -da -da -da. But, okay, so that's the story, y'all. That's how I got fired from Zara. But let me tell y'all something. That girl, Coco, and if she's watching this, you already know my body. You better hope to God I never run into you. Like, <laughs> let me not say that. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm over it. I'm real life over it. I'm over it. I'm, I'm really over it, y'all. I'm over it. But, like, something gotta give. It's just like, it, it, it's really not that serious, but it is that serious because I really was tight. Because I actually liked working. Well, did I like working there? I don't know. I actually didn't like working there. But like, the fact that you tested my gangster and you got me fired, bet. Bet. And that's all I'm going to say. Like, because you know, they quick to like incriminate the YouTubers and shit like that. And I'm not saying I'm doing nothing illegal. No, I'm not threatening her or saying that I'm going to threaten her. So I'm not even going to go there. But, you know, y'all know. Y'all know my body. Y'all know my body. And, you know, it's real life upsetting when they were firing me. Because it's like, in, in the business field in general, which is why I don't feel like I'm, like, built for, like, business. is because, like, people know the tea. You know this girl ostracizes people. She bothers people. She's actually mean to people. She's not good to work with. I'm pretty sure y'all heard this before. I know she's had. Because... I just know from other situations that people had and they'll raise concerns to other managers. I don't know about specifically those two managers, but I know the management team knew that she wasn't, uh, you know, somebody that was a team player, like they like to say. But because I think they liked her and I think because she had family in the, um, like, in the company and she was a good worker. She was a good worker. Um... And she was small. She was cute. She wasn't pretty. I mean, she wasn't ugly. You know what I'm saying? She was, you know, but that's what I didn't like about her. Like, you, this little, like, girl, and you trying to, like, ostracize the people who aren't, like, you know, the most socially, like, normative, attractive. Or, or you know, you feel like when you could bully somebody, you can. That's That make you ugly. So, yeah, you, you probably have a pretty face. You're cute in the face. But you're literally ugly. Like, you're literally ugly. Like, right here, you ugly. Like, you ugly. You're busted. And I'll always call bitches like that busted. I don't care how cute you look, how bopping your body is. You're ugly. You're ugly for how you act. That's that's what I see. Like, that's how I, like, write people. Like, if I watch a video of you or see how you act or your point of view on things, that determines if you're pretty or you're ugly to me. <laughs> and I'm very handsome. <laughs> how you say that? But nah, she was very ugly. That's very ugly. And I didn't like that about her. And that's what I didn't like about the management team. Like, or, or just retail or business in general because it's not just retail. Like, they'll know T, but because, you know... I guess it makes more sense to keep them. I, I mean, it did make more sense. I was new there. It may, why would they get rid of me and her? Uh, why would they keep me and get rid of her? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just, that just, I just found that so ugly. And you'll never win like that. And I'm pretty sure I want to say, I really want to run across her one day. Like, I really fucking do. Just to see how you doing with that ugly ass spirit and that ugly ass personality. First of all, she lied on me. That's number one. Number two, yeah, I could have paid it, but, and I could have like let her keep bothering me. But how is that right? How is that okay? In what sense is that okay? In a business sense, I have somebody bother me and I have to deal with somebody bothering me. And because, you know, I can't really say nothing or go against her you know i have to deal with it or i have to throw it back i'm not the type of person to, 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 to throw it back so why do i have to deal with that and managers y'all really need to start like you know cracking down on the associates that y'all know y'all have that act like that towards people because it's not okay it's not okay and that's all i gotta say i hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed my story time and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye